Folks, this is only from my online stores. And today we're going to review the Mesh Nebulizer. For those of you who may not be familiar with a nebulizer, it's a drug delivery device used to administer medication in the form of a mist or aerosol, which is then inhaled directly into the lungs. Nebulizers are commonly used for treatment of colds, asthma, and other respiratory diseases of the upper and lower respiratory tract. But before I get too carried away, let's open the box and uh, discover what's inside. And here we have the device, uh, which is pretty neat, well designed, and the best of all, it's portable. You can use it on the go. It's small, light, and according to the manufacturer, ultra quiet. But we'll get back to it in, uh, in a short while. Also included are two masks. There's one for an adult and another for a child. And it also has uh, a mouthpiece. And there's a USB cable. If you run out of batteries, but folks, please remember to remove the batteries prior to using the cable. And finally, there's an instruction manual. But let's get back to the device. It uses two pen light batteries. And I recommend you use a good quality battery like Duracell. But also that you keep spare batteries handy, especially if you're going on a camping or hiking trip. And you're going to a remote area. And you don't have access to a power source. On the bottom here, there's a micro USB port. If you want to use the device connected to your mobile phone charger or your PC. And the top transparent section is the medicine module or the container. And on the side it has handy markings on both sides. It indicates the volume between 4 milliliter and 10 milliliters. To open the medicine module, to fill up the device with medicine, you gently depress the top lid and then lift up the clip. And uh, here we have the on and off button. There are two settings, depending on the, whether you are using the device for an adult or for a child. Press the button once for the adult mode. And if we press it again, there's a reduced volume for child mode. And by depressing it a third time, the device switches off. Before you're using your, before you're using your nebulizer, you need to thoroughly clean and disinfect the device and all the accessories by carefully following the instructions in the manual. For reasons of hygiene, this is extremely important. You need to firstly remove the medicine module, which, uh, this, as I say, there's a transparent section by depressing the heart button on the rear and gently, gently pulling it upwards. The module then separates from the lower electronic section. In the center, we have the mesh atomizer, which is an extremely delicate component Please take care not to damage the mesh by using a brush or sharp object, as this will void your warranty. After the medicine module has been disinfected, simply assemble the module by gently pushing the module back into the original position until it firmly locks into place. Now we are ready to use the device, and once again start by opening the module by filling it up with your prescribed medicine, but only up to a maximum of 8 milliliters. Please do not use medicine with a viscosity that is thick, sticky, or a semi-fluid, as this will not only block the mesh atomizer, but it will also render the device useless and it will also void your warranty. And a caution, folks, please only use medicine prescribed by your doctor. Please do not compromise your health by self-medicating. It is simply not worth it. Now attach the mask or mouth mouthpiece by firmly putting it into place, you hold the device upright, press the button once or twice, depending on the mode required, and hold the device firmly to your mouth. And there you can clearly see the medicine being atomized and administered in the form of a fine mist. If the device is not held upright, it may either cease to function properly or produce little or no mist. Following the correct breathing technique is extremely important. Please refer to the manual for clear instructions in this regard. To prevent damage, the device will automatically switch off when the medicine has been entirely used up. And uh, after you've completed your treatment, switch the device off if it has not automatically done so 
and remove the batteries or USB cable and proceed to clean the device as with the instructions. And lastly but not least, folks, please consult with your doctor prior to using this device as your health may be at stake. And that's it from me, folks. Until next time.